Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Nanda Sheikh from Dento Magic. If you're new here, then welcome. If you've already been a Dento Magic family, then welcome back. Today in this video, I will be discussing about the course of Masters in Advanced General Dental Practice in UK. Yes. It is an MSc course and if you want to know in detail then watch the video till end. What we are waiting for? Let's start! In this video I will be discussing about what are the top universities that offer this course and what is the free structure of the university that offer these course and what is the admission process, what are the documents that you need for the admission and what are the other benefits that you can get from this course so let's begin before jumping into the video if you are interested in such videos then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be the dental magic family now coming to the first question that is what you will learn in this course if you offer this course in uk so msc in advanced dental clinic is geared towards broad range of dental training including the various range clinical specialties like anesthesiology, radiology, medical emergencies, medicines and all the aspects that are included in the dental practice. The next question is what is the time duration for the course? So the MSc in advanced dental practice is having two phases full-time course and a part-time course the full-time course is completed in the lapse of one year and the part-time course is completed in two years and 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 here is a good news for the people who are very busy with their clinics with their hospital with their lives or studies they can offer this course as you can add on the months to complete this course in addition and uh, it can take around more than two years to complete if you're too busy to uh, just complete it in in the time lapse of two years but 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 the professors tend to push you and cover it in the time lapse of two years so if you are busy and still you want to do the course then this is a good news for you guys as it will take two years plus uh, the time duration that you will take uh, in this course and uh, it is an add-on to your services so you can choose this course uh -uh. don't skip the video watch the video till end if you want to know all the details you want to know the top universities their fee structures and what is the scope after this course so watch till end if you are interested in knowing more course in UK, then go and watch my video and I will provide you the link in the description box below. So what is the structure of the course in UK? So two third is taught. That is the out of 90 credits, 60 credits are taught. The remaining 30 credits is the thesis that the student has to complete. This thesis has to be done under the supervision and assistance of your professor and the guide that has been provided to you in your course and this thesis has to be submitted and on the basis of this thesis you will be marked at the end of the course and 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 this is not the end there are also modules optional and compulsory modules that you have to have to complete during in this course at the end of the course you will be marked on those modules so you must be thinking how many modules that you have to complete during this course so there are only three modules out of three two are optional and one is compulsory out of these three modules these are the medical education the clinician as an educator they are leading your services and organization modern technology and innovation module these two are the optional modules that you have to do and as it is named it's optional you can offer any one or you can do any both of them it's completely your wish and the other module that is left the one module is the compulsory one that you have to have to have to complete as you are marked on that basis and you are free to comment down below if you have any queries any question that you have to ask and i will answer them all don't forget to comment and fill in the comment box if you have any request for the new video what are the documents that you need for admission in uk for this course 
the most important document is your dental degree which should be from a verified and a known college and it should be verified from the dental council the next thing is english proficiency proof ielts ielts certificate and you should have a score of 6.5 on in the individual module and overall 7.5 next is the most important that is this transcript which should in which your grade should be mentioned of the previous institute the ne next thing is photocopy of your passport two or more letter of recommendation statement of purpose curriculum vitae that is cv so these are some of the most important documents that you need to have before you get in the process of admission and application process the next thing is what are the universities that offer this course in uk the universities that offer this course are the first one is college of medicine and dentistry ielts score that you need for the admission is 7 bands overall and the fee structure for this college is 18000 pounds the next college is the next college is university of manchester and here is one advantage that is you can have a distance learning also which is the best part for the people who are busy in their life but still have to upgrade their skills and knowledge in their field so this college provides you distance learning so the distance learning fees for the full time is 11,250 pound and for the part time it is 14,250 pounds this university provide you with the two study mode full time and part time full time is for one year and the part time is for two years the next university is the IELTS score that you need 7.5 bands now coming to the next university that is university of tennessee the ielts score that you need is 6.5 and the fee structure is 19000 pounds and the course is for one year so these are some of the most important universities that offer this course so here is a small disclaimer this course is a new course that is uh, been introduced in the university so there are very less universities that offer this course so that's it for the video if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button subscribe my channel and be the dental magic family and dental magic wish you all the best if you are getting into the process of admission in uk i hope this video is helpful for you in any way if it is helpful then don't forget to share it with your friends and family stay tuned till the next video till then stay safe be happy Allah.